can you please be quiet in my head this one worked really well as you can see we have a very basic sketch progress has been made we've bought something amazing look at that i want to really perfect it it will work let's be positive hello good morning happy thursday i'm starting the weekly vlog late this week i've had a very admin heavy flat mentally kind of start to my week but I'm feeling good and today I actually have some client work to do for that client I mentioned in last week's vlog and I've been like I said itching to do it so I'm not gonna like ramble on I feel like these intro clips get longer uh, when I was editing last week's I chopped so much out because I just talk nonsense so I'm not gonna do that we're doing the client work and this weekend we're doing a little date day in the peaks so I'm gonna charge my drone up and hopefully we can get some cool little drone footage and then I think we're having like a housework, maybe gardening weekend. So we've got a nice mix of work and life. I hope you enjoy the vlog and um, yeah, let's go. First task is to, I just need to open up the file with all the client information on and I'm gonna use my iPad to start sketching out the ideas. So I'll put an image on screen. This is a woman using a distaff, which is like an old fashioned way of making wool. So I am going to sort of redraw one of those image images or a few, just to create more of like a, the cat has got zoomies. What? Have you got zoomies? Mum's trying to work. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna draw the woman with the distaff. I'm gonna sketch it out on my iPad first, and then most likely I'll drag it over into Illustrator on my computer and vectorize it all. I'm not 100% sure on the position I want to draw her in. The images, like the reference images, there are quite a few different ones. So I'm gonna see if I can sort of visualize which ones work the best just like shouting. I'm very behind on Married at First Sight by the way, so no spoilers please. So I'm gonna go into ClickUp, that's where I've created a client portal for this project, Gus, and where I've sort of kept track of everything. So sorry about the cat. <laughs> and then from here, I'm gonna download the mood board that I sent to her so I can use that as reference for sketching out these first ideas. <laughs> little procreate like tip that i discovered recently is that you can import images as reference images so rather than like adding them as separate layers in here and having to like move them out the way you can open up a little window go into settings canvas reference then in here you can reference another canvas so i don't know if you're redrawing like an old old drawing you could do that reference an image or reference face which will just turn the front camera on not sure why you'd ever do that to yourself because the angle that you get when you open your selfie camera is not the one um i'm going to import that screenshot import the screenshot I should probably have cropped that beforehand very well and then you can change the size of this window oh my god the cat and move it around and then you can still work here whilst also referencing that can you please be quiet You've got food, you've got water, we've been on a walk. What's wrong? See, I think he just wants attention. Why don't you sit down and have a nap? It's like a child fighting his nap, pretending he's actually not bothered now and cleaning himself. Are you gonna sit down? Good boy. See, just wants to chill. Good boy. It's one of those days when the sun's shining a little bit, so everyone decides it's time to cut their grass. So there's various lawnmowers happening outside, and I'm really sorry if you can hear them. 
I am so excited to say I have been very kindly sponsored by hosting it again. You guys seem to really love that platform. I'm so glad I was able to introduce you to them. So if you didn't see my previous videos, hosting it is an all-in-one website building solution. So if you are in the market for a website and you want something simple, affordable, easy to set up, no fuss, then hosting it is for you. Back in the day when I first set up my website it was very complicated it was very overwhelming and I honestly didn't know what I was doing but now the hosting a platform actually has this amazing drag and drop feature definitely my favorite part because you don't need to know any coding you can literally add in the various elements you want you can add a testimonial page your Instagram feed images videos literally whatever you can think of they have all the options ready for you to put in there and customize you can also add global colors so you can use your brand colors to really make it your own and of course you can connect your domain name i highly recommend to anyone starting their freelance journey to get their domain name sorted asap even if you don't have a business idea yet if you don't like you're not ready to start get your domain name sorted so i one of the first things i did was buy alicethorpe.co.uk i've had that for years now and also something that is quite nerve-wracking as a beginner is the cost of things it can easily rack up especially when you're paying out for these platforms and you've not yet started earning anything in it is quite daunting and the good thing about hosting it is that everything is all in one so whether you just open your website as like a blog or a portfolio and later down the line you want to open an e-commerce site you are able to do that under the same plan they have very kindly once again offered me a discount code to share with you guys so if you use my code alice thorpe at checkout you'll be able to scroll down and apply that code and see the discount appear or alternatively you can click the link in the description of this video please do let me know if you check out hosting it i've already had a few of you guys messaging me about it and i'm loving the feedback i'm getting thanks hostinger for sharing this amazing offer with me and my viewers and i guess i better get back to work as you can see we have a very basic sketch and i actually really like how i i've sort of incorporated what was on here with the little like farmhouse and i've put a version in this corner and then i also incorporated the sun sort of behind her to sort of frame her face and then the fields like add in perspective and I think that works really well so yeah I'm happy with how that looks I was a little bit nervous to piece it all together because it's one of those things I had it in my head but I didn't know whether it was going to translate well but I think this works she sat on like a bale of hay and then I've obviously just put the name and stuff around so what I'm going to do is just go in again and refine these lines a little bit and then I'll jump over to my desk and start vectorizing everything kind of sketch thing is done and now I'm gonna plug my laptop back into my desk and we are gonna get it all drawn up and I think I'm actually gonna break out my old uh, Wacom drawing tablet it's been a while you know I feel like I should try it out especially because we're doing drawing vibes I mean I've got very used to drawing on my mouse now but I feel like I have it so why not use it but I'm hoping I'll be able to plug it into like the dock thing I have down here so under here is the docking station that allows my laptop to connect to both screens i did a vlog about like how much of a pain it was to set everything up because the model of mac that i have doesn't like as standard connect to more than one display which is stupid i'm hoping if i plug this into there it should work you know what i'm not 100 percent sure i've used this tablet with this computer are you going to work no let me figure this out okay the wacom tablet did not want to work so i've retired that down there instead i'm using my ipad which kind of works it's just made this screen a bit funky it's like chopped off parts of the screen but whatever so i've brought that up on here and then i'll be able to sort of trace all of this into vectors hopefully 
using like the pencil tool, the pen tool, all that jazz. I mean, I could just image trace this, but I want to really perfect it. So I'm going to use the pen tool so I can fully customize it. But I feel, I feel like my vision in my head should work. It will work. Let's be positive. <laughs> Okay, I have started like tweaking those outlines on Illustrator, but I am starving. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a quick little lunch break. And I've noticed that I'm sort of slowing down because I'm hungry. So we need to just figure out what I'm gonna have. Now, I know we've got leftover risotto, but I don't know if my boyfriend wanted this, but today's the last day we can eat it. So really, I feel like I might as well just have it. Is that really bad? I've been trying to perfect, like, I don't know, neaten up this. Um, I put the house in there, but I think I've come to the conclusion I don't like the way she sat. I'm gonna go with, so my client actually saved this photo to her Pinterest board as well and I quite like how she's knelt down and I've also noticed that the distaff is like a long stick whereas this one is small so I'm not sure if that's like how it should go and like looking at the research I did they are actually all long long sticks so i am going to head back to my ipad and i'm going to outline this one and try try it this way i'm going to like sort of use the top half of her because i quite like that she looks a bit more modern here with like the hat and like i like her face and features but then do the body like the bottom half this and like move her arms so yes <laughs> i'm gonna do that this is a prime example of like having to go back and forth with design ideas and why a design process takes so long to perfect because in my head this one worked really well and the sketches to me looked fine and then it's not until i've taken it onto my laptop it's actually not working and i know it won't translate very well as a digital drawing so uh i reckon changing the angle of where she sat will allow me to reframe it a little bit more make it less busy and hopefully like really draw focus into the maid and spindle that's the plan anyway so i'm going to continue doing that it's now half five so i've been doing this for a few hours now but i feel like i'm making progress and i'm actually i'm actually enjoying myself i've got a podcast on i'm chilling <laughs> let's do this probably turn the light on it's getting overcast progress has been made i'm so happy i changed the position she was sat in i think it fits so much better i'm now in the process of sort of perfecting and adding little mm. details hello there and adding little details to the illustration that i've got this is the one before quite heavy i felt like it was getting too busy too cluttered especially for a logo and this is sort of what I'm working with at the moment. So she's obviously knelt down and she's basically sat on a field with some mountains in the background. And I'm using this as the main source of inspiration for the mountains. And I also quite liked the idea of the like half cut circle. And then I'm going to put another circle and the text around the outside. So similar vibes to this, but obviously in this style i'm actually really happy with it so far so what i'm gonna do is add more like fine details and then i'm gonna call it a day and i'm gonna do a thing that one of my university tutors taught me or told me to do was to sleep on it because i often spend so long like fretting over things and like working on them over and over and over again and i'm not quite sure what i like and what i don't and actually the only thing I need to do is sleep on it and then look at it again in the morning with a fresh pair of eyes. So if you are also like me <laughs> and you fret, I highly recommend sleeping on it. Obviously make sure your deadline isn't the following day because that's not going to help anyone. So I have been, it didn't take much persuasion, but we've been to TK Maxx just like mooching around. Our favourite shop to mooch around and <laughs> I am ridiculously excited for this, but we've bought 
something amazing. <laughs> Look! I don't think anyone else will appreciate this as much as me. It's a picnic basket. It's got a little handle. I'll show you it properly when I get home, but I've wanted a picnic basket for years. Just wait until I tell my mum. She's going to be like, you've always wanted one of them. So, yeah, it opens up and there's loads of stuff inside. I'll do a full tour when we get home, but I'm so excited. I said um, the other day, like, one of my happiest things to do, like, is just to sit on the grass, have a little picnic and, like, look out at a nice view. And this is what we're going to do more of this summer, so I'm very happy about it. Should probably go home and do some work now, but yes, it's been a nice little change of scenery for the morning. I got Gus a new toy on Amazon. And I think it's a success. You just like loop it on your door frame. Our door frames are massive, so it's not like doing it properly. But, do you like it? Get goodness. He loves the feathers, like anything with a feather on, he loves. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I think this is a hit. <laughs> Just gonna have to ignore if Gus starts playing with that toy again because it's gonna be loud. But I'm going to show you the picnic basket. So obviously it's from TK Maxx. I'm not sure what brand it is. Does it have a brand on it? Our Fresco Society picnic camper. Never heard of them. But we liked this one in particular. They had quite a few. So if you're in the market for a picnic basket, head to TK Maxx. We liked this one because it had a shoulder strap. Whereas the other ones were like proper like briefcase style ones. He absolutely loves it. So yeah, this adjustable strap was the selling point. On this side, it has the little straps for the blanket and then inside is the best part. I know I'm overly excited about this, but I've always wanted one of these. Good job. <laughs> so inside, it opens up like this and inside you've got all the utensils. So there's four of everything. We double checked because everything has sort of slid out. It looks like there should be something in here though. Maybe we put like a knife for cutting things in there. Uh, you get like these mats, which I don't know if they're like napkins or placemats. Then also like a picnic blanket with a waterproof back on it. This feels such good quality. And obviously when there's food in here, you'd put this in the straps on the outside. Um, yeah, then inside there's plenty of room for food, some plastic plates. I think they're plastic. Oh wait, they're not plastic. These are like proper plates. Then plastic little champagne flute things. A little chopping board. Look at that. I know, I know I'm very easily pleased. Um, salt and pepper pot. I'm going to FaceTime my mum and see what her reaction is for me having one of these finally. Ready? Proper plates, four of everything. You can use it this weekend, it's going to be nice. I know, that's what we're doing. I've always wanted one of these, Anna. I? I know you have. I was literally beaming walking around TK back to like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, it's a love gift. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> oh, that is lovely. I'm at my desk getting stuff done. And looking at the logo, I'm actually really happy with it. Glad that I slept on it because I was starting to overthink it all and doubt myself, effectively. But looking at this now, I actually think it works really well. I feel like it hits the brief. I might move her down a touch. Like, I feel like she's a bit too high, but there's like a few little tweaks. Other than that, I'm happy with it. So what I'm going to do is when the pen has charged, which I think only takes like half an hour, so that's not too bad. Um, when the pen's charged, I'll add those details in and then I'll start expanding it and doing like the colour palette. Obviously, I've got the colour palette from the mood board so I can add in the various like versions of that and then move forward using that. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I will report back when I've actually got a pen that I can draw with. <laughs> so annoyed at myself. <laughs> This 
is what we have so far. Zoom out so I can show you the progression. So it's changed quite a lot since I last showed you because this was the first sort of digital version of it where you had the whole thing, like she's knelt down, background, blah, blah, blah. The more I sat and looked at this, the more I was like, something's not sitting right with me. And as I was trying to make the logo marks for it, I actually realized that I could crop out some of her knees basically and incorporate it as if like the spindles coming out of the logo so yeah I've gone with this really happy with it added the little background back in um changed her eyes as well and then I've gone through and made some little icons so I've got a straight version of the name made a little icon of the spindle then just the maid without the text around the outside then I've got the maid's face and the spindle as little icons that I can probably use for patterns and then just the title again so yeah really happy with this I'm now going to go through and make these in all the different colors and find some mock-ups that I can start putting into this brand identity template so in here I'm going to present everything and then hopefully well I'll sleep on it again and then I think on Monday is when I'll send it over to the client when I've like had some time to perfect it and make sure I'm 100% happy but yeah it's been a productive day so far I'm going to continue actually I'm on a roll <sighs> my brain's dead it is 20 past 7 I've been at it for six and a half, maybe seven hours. And oh my God, I've been staring at it for too long. <laughs> so I am going to clock off of work for the weekend. Tomorrow we've got the picnic with the picnic basket. Not sure what we're doing on Sunday. Probably just wholesome house things, maybe doing stuff in the garden. We will see. But I am fully clocking off of work for the weekend and I will see you in the morning. And I've remembered to charge the drone. Well done me. <laughs> trainers slash cup holders and wipes behind us it's actually really busy today because the weather's so nice where are we longshore we're in longshore and we have found what we think is the spot or very close to the spot where we came on our first date three years ago <laughs> which is really weird i've like scrolled back on my phone and i've actually found a photo of like just the trees up here and i think we're in the right spot so yeah it's been really nice the food was delish we've definitely eaten too much we've got loads left over as i'm sure you could tell because we had a lot but it's just a nice chill day and there's so many people walking and i think there's like a race or a run or something going on so it's actually pretty good people watching spot i won't lie but yeah we've got our books um we do have the drone but it is kind of windy so i'm not sure how that'll go but i'm just happy to be chilling spent our Sunday doing some gardening work. Gus was helping us out. He was absolutely covered by the end of the day. But yes, we've had a very wholesome weekend. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next week for another one.